Hello everybody! Today I'm working on a framed white primed painting board which I built myself from hardboard. If you're interested in how I did it, you'll find a video on my channel. I've used a white primer which is good for all sorts of painting. The ingredients for my cement modeling paste are Thinbird mortar, acrylic binder, gesso and water. This paste I apply on the board but only in the lower area. I use a small spatula to keep the surface wild looking. Now I have about half an hour to form it. This paste dried and hardened overnight and has become bright. Now the upper free area is filled with cement paste too. I mixed it according to a similar recipe but a little more fluid so that it has the tendency to run a bit. Because I want to provoke a dripping motion from the top to the bottom. I put this paste on and where it is a little thicker or pushed together, dripping will start. Now I pick up the picture, hold it upright, tap it on the table and watch what happens.
That's quite interesting. Okay. This paste also dried and hardened overnight. My picture now shows a nice contrast of structures. On one side this wild ruggedness and on the other the slightly smoother flowing drops. Well, I like that and I will apply a coat of primer before painting. With a warm color palette, I start painting on my relief. For this, I dilute them lightly with water. I paint the drops and try to increase the 3D effect even more. I stick exactly to the given shapes and take away the color at the higher places until it's almost white. So the peaks are brighter and the valleys are darker. Due to the colorful design, the drops have gained even more plasticity and I would like to achieve that in the lower area as well. I darken these blue shades with a little painter's gray and dilute them with water. I start with the raised edges and paint them very bright and transparent.
For the leftover white values I use a similar color palette but less diluted and a little more darkened by painter's grey. Now I want to weave the two structural surfaces together a bit. It's just playing with colors, my way of playing. With titanium white, I put some highlights by making a few drops a little lighter. I taped the picture and painted the frame with a white acrylic paint. The frame has a fine edge slit in blue, marching the picture. You can watch how I do that in my wildflower video. Maybe this abstract image is reminiscent of an ocean bed. Milk and honey are flooding the North German mud flat. Well, I hope you like the picture and the video. If you do, please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you very soon in March's Atelier. Goodbye.